In this experiment, we will be determining the enthalpy of decomposition of sodium hydrogen carbonate by determining the enthalpy of reaction for sodium carbonate and sodium hydrogen carbonate with hydrochloric acid. First, place a clean weighing boat on a zeroed balance. Record the initial mass of the weighing boat in a suitable results table. Using a spatula, transfer between 2.5 to 3 grams of anhydrous sodium carbonate to the weighing boat. Record the mass of the weighing boat and anhydrous sodium carbonate in the same results table. Then, fill a cleaned burette with 2 molar hydrochloric acid. Transfer 30 cm cubed of the hydrochloric acid into a clean polystyrene cup. Place the polystyrene cup containing the hydrochloric acid into a 250 cm cube beaker for improved stability. During this experiment you'll be needing to stir the chemicals. You can use a glass rod, but in this case we are using a magnetic stirrer and stirrer bar. Place the lid onto the polystyrene cup and place the thermometer into the acid to record the temperature. Ensure the thermometer is not going to collide with the stirrer bar. Turn on the magnetic stirrer and begin a stop clock. Record the temperature at 0 seconds and then every minute for the first 3 minutes. Place these results into a suitable table. At 4 minutes on the stop clock, do not record the temperature. Instead, lift the lid and add the anhydrous sodium carbonate weighed earlier to the polystyrene cup. Take care as effervescence will be observed. Then replace the lid. At minutes 5 to 10 on the stop clock, record the temperature shown on the thermometer. At 10 minutes, you can finish recording the results and you can stop this experiment. Ensure that you record the final mass of the weighing boat after transferring the anhydrous sodium carbonate to the polystyrene cup at 4 minutes. This experiment is then repeated, but using sodium hydrogen carbonate instead of anhydrous sodium carbonate. Place a clean weighing boat on a zeroed balance. Record the initial mass of the weighing boat in a suitable results table. Using a spatula, transfer between 3.5 to 4 grams of sodium hydrogen carbonate to the weighing boat. Record the mass of the weighing boat and sodium hydrogen carbonate in the same results table. Using a burette again, transfer 30 cm cubed of 2 molar hydrochloric acid into a clean polystyrene cup. Place the polystyrene cup containing the hydrochloric acid into a 250 cm cube beaker. Add a magnetic stirrer bar into the polystyrene cup. Place the lid onto the polystyrene cup 
and place the thermometer into the acid to record the temperature. Again, ensure the thermometer is not going to collide with the stirrer bar. Turn on the magnetic stirrer and begin a stop clock. Record the temperature at 0 seconds and then every minute for the first 3 minutes. Place these results in a suitable table. At 4 minutes on the stop clock, do not record the temperature. Instead, lift the lid and add the sodium hydrogen carbonate weight earlier to the polystyrene cup. Take care as effervescence will be observed. Then, replace the lid. At minutes 5 to 10 on the stop clock, record the temperature shown on the thermometer. At 10 minutes, you've finished recording the results and you can stop this experiment. Ensure that you record the final mass of the weighing boat after transferring the sodium hydrogen carbonate to the polystyrene cup at 4 minutes.